Hello everyone, this is ASM Arif today. Welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial and tutorial show you skin retouching process. So here turning it off the things. Yeah, the result of this before one was like that and after one you're getting like that. So what I have done here, let's see. So at first I have done like uh, here I added uh, skin retouching that is the plugins of um, skin finer and then i added the dodge and burn options and then i enhanced the eye color and then i just uh, made a preset for you guys i applied that preset and then added the levels like that and then i added another preset for the smoothing and then the nick collection i added this one so this one is the process of making this photo like this to this so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so go to the file and open up here is my stock image i downloaded this one from the freepeak.com and press ctrl j and then go to the filter and the photo toolbox skin finer at first i'll smooth the skin of this model so i'm just zooming it in here i'll make it like that and that the amount of sharpening like that and hue i'll make the hue like this little bit warming and the skin saturation i'll make it like that and if i make it zoom out yeah that's good and then the contrast i'll make the contrast like that and shadow as well and brightness i'll increase the brightness and highlight i'll de-highlight this one a little bit yeah and hit ok it will take time to load it up and yeah give you the smooth skin output and after that i'll make copy by pressing ctrl j and j one is for the highlight and another one is for shadow so I'm turning up the shadow layer select the highlight layer and go to the blending mode and make it the blending mode is green and right press blending options and here is the underlining layer and I find out the highlighted area of the face yeah that's fine press the alter button and press here the divide slider will divide and adjust the light to the face so that's fine and hit ok after that mask it and go to the image and apply image and hit ok so one is done and another one shadow select this shadow layer select this one make the blending mode into multiply and right press blending options from here i'll find out the shadow from the face yeah press the alter button and divide the slider and add just the sh shadow and hit ok and then mask it image and apply image in this case i'll make it invert and hit ok so i got two layers and select these two layers make it group and then mask it again and image and apply image and uncheck the invert option and hit ok so you are getting the subtle change actually highlighted and shadow area are prominent so select these two things make it group and make it merge and then I'll go to the filter and camera filter from here I'll apply the preset which I made it earlier here is a small menu go to the load settings options and I made it like portrait photo and open it up yeah you'll get ultimate change and other stuff so if you need you can change the assumption let's see the settings the exposure plus one five and uh, highlight minus 79 shadow plus 23 white 13 minus 13 and blacks plus 34 and then the tone curve the blue tone curve i'll just added some warm tone so i made it like a downside and green i didn't touch that and red i touched that but a little bit and then the rgb curve the first one i locked here and last one i locked here and smoothing or detailing like that if you need you can increase the luminance of noise reduction and then hue saturation and luminance that is the hue and red hue plus 15 and saturation 33 luminance minus 35 and then the 
saturation of orange plus 17 and luminance plus 26 and yellow luminance i made it minus 17 and aqua plus 20 for the eye color and that's fine and then hit ok so take a new blank layer and go to the brush tool and select the brush like that and make the brush size according to the cornea and take the white color and press once here and once here before that check out the opacity and flow 100% and then go to the blending mode and change into the overlay options that's fine and then I'll select these two things make it group and make it merge and now I'll apply another preset or actually that is the the Google Nick collection or Nick collection from here color effects pro 4 from here you'll get a uh, ultimate changes of the things so this one is the plugins for the photoshop creative cloud or other creative uh, or cs version you can use it free of cost and if you want to get the download link please check on my video description from here here is the cross processing and here are lots of methods you can try one of them but i'll use the l02 and hit ok so it will take time to load it up and give you the final output so that's fine yeah let's see the before one was like that and after one you're getting like that so go to the adjustment layer and levels i'll adjust the levels like this yeah that's fine yeah that's good and then go to the solid color and select a color and go to the blending mode and make it soft light so if you need to add the lights or other stuffs or the fill like uh, the aqua or like wormy that's fine yeah that's good so let's see the before one was like that and after one you're getting like that so it was the process to make your photographs more amazing and retouch your model skin so hope that you'll learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and until the next video i may say i'm signing out today bye bye